Hi, I'm Chris Butler and welcome to Working in the Industry, the show where we peek behind the curtain and look at li lots of different jobs in the media industry. Uh, today I'm joined by Ellen Atoll from Arts Emergency. Uh, Arts Emergency is a charity that supports young people that are making their start in both arts and humanities. They offer mentors, contacts, opportunities and even just friendly advice. Eleanor, would you like to introduce yourself? Sure. Um, so I'm the mentoring officer for London at Arts Emergency. Um, my main role is to match up young people who are interested in getting into arts and humanities careers with mentors from the industry. Fantastic. Uh, would you like to tell me a little bit about uh, a little bit more about your role and how you got involved? Yeah, sure. Um, so I've recently joined Arts Emergency in the last month. So I actually um, started off my career in the design industry myself, working in textile design, um, and kind of saw that there was a lack of opportunities for young people um, to get into the to get into the industry um, and that's what made me move into working with Arts Emergency um, and my role is working between um, uh, working with young people and working with mentors from across the creative industries all kinds of different professions um, and looking to create the best possible match between those two young people to support a mentoring uh, relationship for a year as part of our mentoring program. Brilliant, thank you. And would you like to take us through um, your presentation that you've got for us today as well? Sure. Thank you very much. Um, so, yeah, like I said, Arts Emergency is a mentoring organisation and it was founded in 2013. And since then, uh, it's built up a network of over 9,000 creative professionals looking to support young people with advice and guidance for getting into the creative industries. So, first off, I've actually got a question for the audience. Um, so, everyone everyone here, if you could put your hand up uh, if you are already studying an arts or humanities subject. Got a few people there. Um, and those people who put their hands up, if you're interested in going into a career in one of those subjects, um, keep it up if you're not sure how to get there. Does that include media as well? Yes. Media, yeah, games, yeah. animation, the TV industry. Okay. <laughs> Okay, great. So that's what Arts, Humanity, arts Emergencies is about. Um, so yeah, we work across all kinds of creative careers. Um, arts refers to yeah, media, games, all kinds of different creative careers. So we connect young people with mentors from across the creative industries. Um, and like I said, there's over 9,000 creative professionals in our network. Um, and the start of our support is a 12-month mentoring programme where young people can meet with their mentors uh, once a month. And once you're on the mentoring programme, you become part of our young talent and we'll provide support as well through um, sending out information and guidance about how to get into those industries, um, any kind of cultural opportunities that you can access, like getting free tickets for performances and events, and also opportunities to take part in work experience. And once you've completed the program and um, you've turned 18, you'll also go into our young community, which means you'll continue to get this support and guidance from us up till your 26th birthday and um, still be able to access all of those kind of work experience opportunities as well. So to start off, what, to start off with, we'll set you up with a mentor um, who shares your interests. So when you're applying for the programme, the best thing you can do is just give as much information about the kind of um, the subject you're most passionate about or um, what hobbies you're interested in. And um, we'll use those to match you up with a mentor. And you'll meet them once a month for 12 months. And, that's, and it's quite flexible how you can meet up with them. So that would be either online or in person. Um, we kind of encourage in person. So we try and match you up with a mentor who's kind of local to you. Um, but that is up to you and that can change throughout the year. Um, and the mentoring will begin in January with a mentoring event uh, where you'll get to meet your mentor in person and um, also get to meet all the other people on the programme as well. So you'll get to see kind of the network around you. And the mentoring programme is directed by you. So you set your own goals with your mentor and um, you'll kind of work together to make those goals achievable and to make them focus on what can benefit you once you're no longer part of the programme going on into your career. So the main ways that Arts Emergency can help you uh, is through getting advice and guidance from a creative professional who's already wor been working in the industry that you might be interested going into. 
and um, they will be, have already gone through maybe some of the steps that you're interested in taking, whether that's education or going into an apprenticeship, um, and also having a kind of uh, different kind of relationship to maybe what you might have with a teacher or a parent can be really helpful. Um, we refer to a mentor as a professional friend, so they're not going to um, necessarily tell you exactly what to do, but they'll just um, give you advice and that guidance, and you'll set the direction of travel. And um, yeah, part of the programme, we've got lots of opportunities for accessing um, free tickets and going to events and, go and getting kind of behind the scenes tours as well. Um, so the photo here um, is two young people on work experience at the Globe Theatre. Um, and we run a summer programme of work experience as well, which everyone on the mentoring programme can apply to be a part of. And that's across all different kinds of um, careers and industries. So last summer, a couple of young people were at a media agency. Another were at a TV production company. Um, so there's lots of different opportunities. Um, we also run schemes as well um, at Arts Emergency, where you can um, get uh, support to purchase resources that will help you take part in the program. So that could be that you might need a set of headphones so that you can meet your mentor online, or you might need a specific book that you're interested in, and you can apply for kind of vouchers to cover that or kind of your travel as well. Um, and there's also opportunities as well to kind of access the other professionals in our network. So we have a wish list scheme, um, which means that you can put out a request to meet with someone from any of uh, any industry from across our network. So if your mentor maybe doesn't have the right experience for something you specifically want to know about, then they can help you out by being able to speak to everyone. And we'll also have opportunities for network for networking throughout. And the number one thing that young people say at the end of the programme is that they feel a lot more confident about um, the direction that they're going in and in themselves to make their own decisions as well. So on the screen, um, we've got examples of just some of the areas that our mentors specialise in. Uh, so this is kind of a broad overview of all the different areas um, that they could specialise in. And obviously within each of those, there's so many different roles that you could end up going into um, and so many yeah, different areas that you could go into. If you're interested in something that you think might be creative or humanity subject, but it's not up here, um, get in touch and we can talk about whether that's something that we can support you with as well. So what we're looking for in a mentee, uh, the number one thing is just a passion and curiosity to explore your area of interest. Uh, so you don't have to know exactly what you want to go into, you don't have to know the role that you want to do, but as long as you're interested in learning more and asking questions and getting involved in like, different opportunities, um, then that's going to set you up to do really well on the programme. Um, we also ask for you to commit to meeting your mentor once a month over the course of a year. Um, so like I said, this can be quite flexible. And after the initial like, mentor meeting, um, you kind of set when you want to meet up with your mentor um, between you two. So it can fit around you know, your other commitments and you can um, specify if you want to meet online or in person. And that can kind of change throughout the year as well if your circumstances change. And we also have some eligibility criteria that we just ask mentees to meet. So um, we're just asking everyone who applies to the programme to meet one of these criteria. Um, so you can have a look through to see if you think you meet any of those. If you're not sure about your eligibility, um, then again, you can get in touch and um, we can answer that question. I was thinking about the, uh, the postcode. Mm -hmm. that, is that the one where it would be useful for students to contact you specifically? Because... Yeah, so that is something that we can check as well. So if you're not sure yeah, about whether your postcode would be eligible, then definitely get in touch um, and we can let you know whether it would be. Thanks. So um, just to give you an idea of what it's like to be a mentee on the programme, we've got a video um, that just shows some of the experiences of former mentees, which I'm just going to play for you now. Everyone needs to be able to have someone or an organisation in their corner to help them with these things that they're passionate about. Hi, my name is Alicia and I'm a spine actor from Liverpool and I'm an art emergency mentee. I'm here to tell you how you can apply for the mentor. Art emergency is a mentoring charity and support network for young people like you and me who are curious about the art and creative industries. It has everything from film, fashion, gaming, music, publishing 
and even architecture. If you're aged 16 to 18 and you live in London, Brighton, Manchester or Merseyside, you can apply for a mentor today. Your mentor is someone who's already in the arts and creative industries who shares similar interests to you. They will be with you for a whole year, meeting with you monthly so you can reach your goals. They can also help you after you leave school or college by providing you with work experience and introducing you to people already in the industry, helping you build your skills, your confidence and your experience. After your year is over, Art Emergency will continue giving you work experience, trips, opportunities until you are 25 years old, so that you have support now and into the future. Through Art Emergency, I've been able to meet people that I know that I otherwise wouldn't have been able to meet. I've been able to go and watch shows that I probably wouldn't have gone to watch as well. Um, and I've been able to build my confidence in a way that's different from how you would build it in school and like in your everyday life. I think um, applying to be a mentee is like the biggest advantage and biggest benefit that you could ever do. Um, there's so much to gain, um, you have so many new opportunities, you have a mentor to talk to about your passions and stuff like that. You can network, you can meet people that you wouldn't uh, meet on a regular basis and you're just kind of exposed to the world, like to the industry that you want to go into. My sessions with my mentor are so insightful and they're so, it's just a beautiful conversation to have with my mentor because I'm able to just talk to her freely about all, all the thoughts that I might not be able to talk to other people about. It was great to kind of have somebody there that's been in your position and knows what you're feeling. It's kind of made me feel like there is a place for me in this industry. I'm nearly 21 and Arts Emergency is still helping me out, still championing me, um, and it makes you feel less alone within this industry. Arts Emergency are looking for young people who are curious about the art and creative industries. You don't have to be an A-star student or the most confident person. You just have to be committed to making the most out of this opportunity. Everyone who applies must meet our eligibility criteria. You can apply on the Art Emergency website. It's pretty straightforward. If you have any questions, just let us know by emailing mentoring at artemergency.org. In your application, we want to hear about you and why you're applying. We really, really look forward to hearing from you. So apply now, and good luck. Great. <laughs> um, so how to apply? Um, the first stage for application is to fill in an online application form, which is on our website. And like I said, if you can put as much information as possible about what you're interested in and what you're passionate about, then that can help us to match you up with the best possible mentor for you. And then the next stage once will be that you'll be invited for an interview, um, and that will probably happen within your college. Um, and then. From there, once you're accepted on the programme, the first thing is the introduction event, which will happen in January, and that's where you can meet your mentor. And then after that, you're also up to begin mentoring. Um, so then it's up to you and your mentor to decide when you're going to meet. So if you've got any questions, you can get in touch with me after this, um, or speak to me after this as well. And um, also, if you've got any questions now, we can talk about this. We do, we do have a couple of uh, questions from the audience. Uh, so, who do we want to start with? Uh, can we start with uh, Yusuf, please? Uh, hi. Um, so, I used to stream, and I, I was streaming for like a whole year straight, and I just wanted to know if that would be useful in the media, in the, the creative media industry, or like if you work with people that are like that as well? Sure, yeah, I think um, that's definitely something if you're like applying to put that on your application, and then we can look at who's in our like mental network who could be a good fit for that. Because I think there'll definitely be a lot of um, people who work in media or maybe film or across like social media who might have, even if they haven't done it on Twitch, they've maybe done it in similar ways um, or know a lot about that area who can talk to you about that. So I think um, that's definitely something that we could put out to our mentors and uh, I'm sure there'd be someone who's got similar experience to that. Yeah, and I think like what Ellen has said as well, that that would show your interest in the, in the area and in the media itself. So I think it would really help you on the journey to get a, a mentor as well. Uh, we've got another question now from Lucas. 
Yeah, um, I just wanted to know like, how will emergency arts uh, help me get into the film industry? So it can help you get into the film industry by matching you up with a mentor. So we'll, if you put that on your application that you're interested in the film industry, um, we'll be, we've got loads of mentors from across the film industry. Uh, we'll be able to match you up with someone who's got that kind of experience of working within it. Um, and they'll be able to give you guidance on how they got into the film in industry and like different routes in as well. Um, and there's also opportunities throughout the year um, for work experience. So maybe one of those could be within a film industry role and that can give you more kind of um, network and more professional connections and also more experience that can help you to then make your next decision about where you want to go to get into the film industry. Thanks for that. I was going to ask you as well, do you think having a contact in the media industry is one of the most important things you could do as getting, you know, as a way of getting in there? Yeah, definitely. I think having one contact to start with is like, that's how you build a network yeah. for yourself. And like, it's so important just to have someone who's got, they'll already have a network if they're working within it. And um, I'm sure many mentors will want to kind of introduce you to other people they know as well if they think it's helpful. So I think that one contact could be the start of something much bigger. Brilliant, thank yeah. you. And now we got a question from uh, Angelo. Hello, I have a question. Um, what are my next steps after I get accepted into Arts and Emergency? So your next steps will be to meet your mentor at our introduction event in January. Um, so this is like an in-person event and it's actually been going to be happening in Central St. Martin's College. So we'll be meet, matching everyone up there and you'll get to meet other mentors and mentees on the programme as well. Um, and from there, it's up to you um, how, when and where you kind of meet your mentor. So it's really a programme that's like led by you and your interest in it. So you'll be able to decide when, when's best for you to meet your mentor um, every month. Brilliant. Uh, now we've got a question from Louis, I believe. What do you think are the, uh, the biggest hurdles young people can face <coughs> breaking into the media industry? The biggest hurdles? I think um, being able to get work experience. A lot of work experience is unpaid, and that's just like not an option for a lot of young people. And it's, I mean, it's not necessarily um, fair that that's kind of asked of you. So that can be one of the biggest hurdles. Um, and especially a lot of that work experience does come through knowing someone in the industry already. Um, so I think that's something which, you know, having that network connection uh, maybe for your mentor or something can help with. Um, and also, I guess, the reliance on just maybe right, whether going to university is the right thing for someone, that can be um, a really big hurdle in, in getting in. Um, so there's a lot of different routes in. Um, and I think, yeah, building up those connections in the industry can really help. And we've got one more question from Chloe, and then I'm going to open it up as well to anyone else in the audience. Uh, Chloe. What's, what's one piece of advice you would give to anyone looking to get into the arts emergency and the media industry in general? Um, so for people looking to get into the arts emergency programme, I'd say just um, be as uh, open as possible about what you're interested in and what you're passionate about, because um, that really will just help you to get the best out of your experience, but also help us to show how much it means to you to be on the programme and to give you that like support and so that's just going to give you the best start in taking part in the program and i think that's also something that you know showing your commitment and showing you're passionate um will help you get into the industry as well like those things carry on afterwards um and you know people will want to will want to carry on supporting you if you show how committed you are to it i think i think you've answered everything yeah. <laughs> i think you've answered everything but i think it's a fantastic charity and a really really good opportunity uh, for the students. Can I see a raise of hands for those of you who are going to put an application in? That's good. You're going to be busy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And uh, can we, how many, can we see all the hands up? All the hands. I want everyone to apply. It's a really, really good opportunity. Okay. Fantastic. Okay. So we're going to wrap up there. Okay. It's been a real pleasure having you. Thank you very much. And we've learned a lot about Arts Emergency and how you can help young people and how they can find support in the industry. Um, is there anything you'd like to add before you leave? Um, no, just that, yeah, like I said, if there's any questions after this, then do get in touch because we're, yeah, we're here to support you. So, yeah, please do get in touch if you've got anything Brilliant. else. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you so much for coming. I've been Chris Butler. Thank you for joining me here today. Have a good day. Thank you. Thanks.